My name is Arunima Prakash and I'm a second year PhD student. My name is Jackson Jandrew. I'm a PhD student. My name is Yingfei Chen. I work for uh, Dr. Xing Zhao Chu. My name is Ian Garrity and I'm a graduate research assistant. Our research project uses these sophisticated laser instruments called LIDAR to probe the upper reaches of the atmosphere. And a majority of our work has been involved with deploying and operating two of these instruments at McMurdo Station, Antarctica, since 2010. Our LIDARs can measure the temperature and even the wind speed at altitudes between, say, 20 to 100 plus kilometers. So we're really looking at what we call this space atmosphere interaction region, where the atmosphere is getting so, so sparse as you go up an altitude that you're really transitioning into space. The best way to think about LIDAR is it's a remote sensing instrument, which means you can sense things at a distance. And it's very similar to radar, except it uses light. So you send signals outwards, you wait for them to interact with something in the atmosphere, and then you receive a signal that comes back to you. And depending on what you're looking for, you can get all sorts of different information from that signal. My research uh, project mainly focuses on the metal layers in the upper atmosphere. So basically, there is a permanent layer, uh, we call it metal layer, in the upper atmosphere from around 80 kilometers to 100 kilometers. But in our own research, we want to study uh, the layers uh, which can reach up to uh, above 100 kilometers and they can reach very high altitudes. We call it uh, TI metal layers, which is the thermosphere, ionosphere uh, metal layers. I am looking at what we call the Earth's highest clouds, called polar mesospheric clouds, which you can see from the space station, satellites, and even have ground-based observations, like uh, people can see them if you are at those higher latitudes. So my research is basically on these clouds because they are formed in a very unique state When I'm down at McMurdo, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be the operator for our LIDAR observatory. So I'll be the one um, doing maintenance and running those LIDARs all the time. Uh, anytime the skies are clear, we, we take data. When we're not taking data, if you wake up and the sky is not blue, then you drive up the hill and you fix whatever broke the day before. Because when you're working out in the field, that happens all the time. Usually, uh, if you think about the McMurdo or Antarctica, which means the extremely cold weather, so you need to make yourself survive in such uh, cold weather. And at the, at the same time, I think we need to uh, drive, drive there and uh, you need to get used to driving on ice. I'm looking forward to the landscape because summer in Antarctica is supposed to be super beautiful. Um, get to see a lot of light, wildlife and uh, penguins and seals. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then obviously the data collection. I think my favorite part about working down there really was being involved in that really strong sense of community that develops between you know, just those few select people that are down there either doing or supporting these incredible science projects uh, and the camaraderie that comes with all of that.